Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with a US candy box. Yeah, Kate and Matt were recently on their honeymoon and while they were away, they picked up some awesome goodies for us to try. I feel like it's been a long time since we just had a US candy box. Yeah. And of course, these are to my sort of flavors because I picked them up. Everything here looks amazing. We had a bit of time between Fort Lauderdale and getting to Miami airport. So I said to Matt, let's head to a Target because I hadn't been to one yet. And yeah. it's like the best thing ever. And it's your honeymoon. I mean, how could you not go to a Target? Exactly. We've got a couple Valentine's Day. We're a bit late on that and an Easter item, but I feel like it's a really nice selection of goodies. And then we've got two fun items here that Paula and Al Jarman bought us like last year. So sorry, we're only getting to it now. I'm it. so pleased about this. We have seen an advert for this, I think ages ago. And I think we saw those when we were in Florida. Yeah, but did we not have much space or we something? We didn't have loads of space. And also we're moving hotels and we didn't want to have loads of stuff yeah. with us. This just looks so exciting. To it. So it's like in a Pringles tin and it's Doritos Cool Ranch, in minis. but in minis. I wonder like why they thought to do that. It's a really cute idea, isn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised it's in a tub, but maybe they think there's less breakages. You kind of think, could you not just have these in a bag? Doritos Minis Cool Ranch, another level of flavor. Same bowl flavor, now mini size. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering how small they were going to be. They are teeny, yeah. but for some reason, I think they were going to be even smaller than yeah, that. Yeah, me too. They <laughs> are teeny. I love anything small and mini. Look at that. They're also thinner than I thought they'd be. I think I was thinking they would be the same thickness. Cheers. I don't mm. think they'd make it. Oh, that's great flavor. If you're going to the shops, would you rather get it in mini form? or a big bag. I think I would prefer mini form. You get more surface area on the mini, so you get more of the flavor. Whereas what I don't like about Doritos is when you really get just the flavor of the chip. Oh yeah, you don't taste as much of the corn chip. No. For me, I think it depends on my experience. Am I having it with dip? Because that's annoying with a mini one. But if it's a big one, you can yeah. dip. But with Cool Ranch, I feel like it doesn't always need a dip. No. Mm. These are good. Really good. And I thought they were all gonna be really broken in there. The only thing with you though is you can't really get your hand in. <laughs> Save that for later. No, I'd have to pull them straight out into a bowl. Yeah. Mm. Or pull them into my hand, but I'm oh. not gonna do that. You just do that. Knock them back, yeah, could do that. In a video coming, you will realize that we don't get Cool Ranch Doritos here. And I always forget how good they are. Yeah, they're so good. They are so flavorful and so delicious. What are you giving them? I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. Yeah, they're I'm giving delicious. them a good solid nine out of 10. Definitely better than a normal Dorito for me. I think so. It's not just a gimmick. It's not just to change the packaging, make it smaller. It's actually improved it. It I, gives I a different like texture, a different yeah. feeling. We've got some favorite day <laughs> items. We love them. Being in America during like holidays is so different to the UK. I feel like England's become more Americanized, but not when it comes to Valentine's. Like we get a couple things now, but yeah. hardly anything. Whereas the whole of Target was pink and red. And <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but like kids take in like things for all of their people in their class really? they'll have like a, a Reese's thing on a card and you can write to such and such from question mark or whatever there's so much for Valentine's Day and we don't have like stuff like that at no. all so what have we got out strawberries and cream indulgent trail mix sweet cream almonds coated pretzels M&M milk chocolate candies confectionery coated candies cranberries strawberry flavored shimmer coated pretzel balls and sprinkle cookies I think this is one of the most jam-packed ones yeah. we've had the maybe. favorite day trail mix is just take it to the next level Although this one's almond. I don't mind almond. Oh, cool. I love all of the pinkiness popping through. Mmm. So far, so good. These little cookies are so pretty. Oh, we cranberry. The cranberry. Oh, there's an almond. There's not a crazy amount of almonds in there. Yeah. And I just put one in. And actually, when you mix it all together, is that a pretzel ball? A pretzel ball, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cozy pretzel balls. They're really yummy, aren't they? Even though I'm enjoying them, I think my favorite ones are either the lemon ones were fantastic, the bunny trail mix. Yeah. These are so nice They're though. So good. And the strawberries are really nice flavor. Mm. The lemon were just like punchy, weren't they? I'm always so surprised how good they are. Cause when you hear trail mix, you just think like nuts. And obviously this is more like sweet. I think with candy because they put nice pretzels covered in like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they put M&Ms in there. It's funny. It's like every now and then on the radio or on the internet, there'll be a story about, oh, an actual job is like an ice cream tester. And people are like, oh, oh yeah, my word, yeah. I wish that, that was my job or whatever. I would love the job of trail mix. 
Tester. Tester and configurer. That would be good. At Target because you're like, okay, what have we got coming up? Okay, we got Valentine's Easter. Day. Okay, so what can be in that? We'll do pretzel, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do that. And you try it and you're like, no, need some more M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's so like good. Like you say, I think one of the ones we've had before probably just Do you know why I think slightly. the lemon might eclipse it? And I think maybe one of the other ones we've had. I really enjoy the little checks, like the little hash... Square. Yeah, well, remember in the lemon one, there was quite a big, like, marshmallow oh, one. Oh, that was that so was good. Really that, good. That's the thing, that I didn't have any cranberry in mine. I mm. think it needs something chewy. I think chewy. more texture yeah. in the other ones. Valentine's Crunchy Clusters with pretzel, caramel, white drizzle and sprinkles. We've practically had this, but instead of the white, it was just normal chocolate. Yeah. This is one of the things, the milk version, that we pick up every time we go. Oh, look, we've got some good caramel on there. Oh, and I love that they've put the sprinkles on. Yeah, these are obviously their Valentine's sprinkles. You can also purchase these. Well, is it actually white chocolate or is it candy melts? Candy melts. It is nice. Mm -hmm. That's why I just prefer milk chocolate in America, though. Because it's actually chocolate. Mm, that's tasty, though. Really gets my jaw. Quite cute. Makes it more like butterscotchy mm. without the milk chocolate. I love how it's like two pieces as a serving. But the one you picked up before was massive. Two pieces of what, though? I'll that take one? that, that piece. One? Sometimes mm. you get a mahoosive one, don't you? That's what I was kind of looking for. Mm. I really want to eat another piece, but I'm really having to hold myself back. Hold me back. <laughs> hold me hold back. Me back. <laughs> <laughs> Hold me back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, hold you back because look what's there. You weren't doing a very good job of holding yeah. me back, that's why. Well, I always watch you out. Look what's waiting. Whoa. Now, this is either going to be incredible or not, but or can we score this, please? An eight. No, a seven. I'm still going like an eight and a half for those. Really? I usually prefer these caramelly yeah. ones more, but in this case, I much prefer, prefer the, the trail one. mix, yeah. yeah. It is just so nice, but it, it needs that milk chocolate, doesn't yeah. it? This is either going to be awesome or, or an absolute disappointment. We've got a Reese's King Size Caramel Big Cup. Let's give it a go. Better then. not be caramel flavour. <laughs> doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's what they all do. <laughs> honeycomb. <laughs> Lovely slab of honeycomb. Maybe it's because you shouted honeycomb, but I thought I could smell honeycomb. <laughs> In there, I can kind of smell it. <laughs> do you know what? It's funny because knife. that's called a big cup but I kind of picture the normal Reese's cups being this big. But actually, if you see a normal Reese's cup, they are so small, aren't they? Yeah. They're so thin. I, I think, think it is real caramel out. I, it looks like the caramel from really a good. Rolo. Oh, it's soft. I just pressed on the bottom. Wow. <laughs> I notice how they put it on the bottom though. Less, less area. Whereas if they put it on the top, they'd have to put more, wouldn't yeah. they? Well, I like it on the bottom because then that's the bit that hits your tongue first. It's actually been such a long time since we've had a plain Reese's. I think the last time we had a plain one was you had that organic one. Oh, yeah. Was it any different? It's probably just it better quality richer. chocolate, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think the chocolate was darker. Isn't that funny? I forgot about their Reese's cup. It's really kind of like icing sugary, which is like powdered sugar. It almost had the texture of icing sugar. Yeah. It seemed very sweet. Yeah, yeah, but they are sweet, the Reese's. Whereas I always thought Reese's were like quite rich peanut butter. No, like. they're quite like sweet. And I think that's why I was able to mm. like peanut butter yeah. in the end because we had so many Reese's products at one point. So I feel like their sweet peanut butter got me onto it. Whereas mm. when you have those like Justin's, yeah. they're much more earthy. Definitely. So the caramel. I like it, but it's not my favourite. I almost didn't taste it. I literally did not taste any caramel. So I might as well have just had like a Hershey's caramel yeah. piece. What I really like is something that kind of contrasts or complements the peanut butter. So that's like the crisp works so well because it's crunchy Texture. and salty. Or like the pieces because that's like crunchy. The crunchy shell. And like sweeter. Still to this day, I think both of our favourites is either the chip one yeah. or pieces. Let us know if you have any other ones that you prefer. I still love that they've done this. Yeah. I just almost can't I wouldn't can't turn it down it. if someone no, gave it to me. neither would I. I did like how like loose and gooey the caramel yeah. was. That's what I really yeah. liked. But I just thought they didn't quite mesh that well. No, I wouldn't turn it down. No. I wouldn't cut off my nose to spite my face. <laughs> <laughs> what a saying. Yeah. Cut off your nose to spite your face. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? I wouldn't cut off my nose to spite right, my face. face. Right, should we have a bit of fun Yeah, quick? let's have a bit of fun. <laughs> okay. Well, what, have we not been having fun so far? <laughs> so, we've got two things yeah. here. This is Taste the Fun Bubble Lick Juicy Watermelon Splash Flavoured Bubbles. Splash. <laughs> Watermelon Splash. And then we've got Magic Potion Mystery Flavour. And you get a little baggie here of tablets. 
It's like a science so experiment. In. Maybe so. I blow them and you catch them into your mouth. Unless you blow it and it blows up and then you eat it. But like for it to, bl to blow into a bubble, surely has to have some sort of agent. That seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Right, ready, Al? Yeah. Are you going to try and catch this? No oh, my word, one went in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Did it stay? Can you taste it? I need to go up a bit more. There we go. There, there. They're so thin, I can't taste yeah. it. Are we gonna have like really sticky surfaces later? Probably. Oh, one just popped on my ear. Okay. I, oh, I'll have a go, but I can't taste anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughed in a bed of bubble. Oh. Oh. Right, you're rubbish. I'm rubbish. <laughs> I feel like you got an essence. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I feel like my face is sticky. <laughs> 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 when you like suck it in like that, I feel like you can get it. Whoa, that's a Whoa, great one. Get that one, Kate. What was that one like? <laughs> I feel like the tip of my tongue right. did get a bit. Yeah, but just, just what? That's horrific. Really? You don't want to try that. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're meant to blow it and it's like really concentrated. Oh, but it's, it's really, really strong. strong. Well, oh my word, I feel like that's like ruined my taste buds. Really? That is so strong. I can still fun taste that. Fun for the gimmick. Now. The thing is. Not fun for the gimmick, no. It's just fun get, for. <laughs> just get, get a sweet. Get sweet and get bubble. Yeah. The thing bubbles. is, bubbles, everyone loves bubbles though, because while we're on the cruise for the honeymoon, bubbles Darling. were coming into the. Um, auditorium oh, yeah. but with dry ice like Infused smoke with dry ice. and like you could just see everyone around you it's like all oh, these like old and were people them. popping them yeah everyone was going and when you popped one was it, it went, cold was it cold no all right it just like it just like dispersed mm. so what do we have to do here put one in there introduce the tablet is that five minutes or five seconds would you dare taste it one two three so maybe you put one in and then taste it. Oh, it's fizzing. I think we need to put all of them in. Go on then. I think it is wait five minutes. <laughs> right, should we leave that to the side and yep. move on to... Well, while we're on fun and game, yeah. should we do these Willy Wonka? World of Wonka. I'm guessing these came out for the new Willy Wonka film, which is no longer new. Yeah, it Have... says see the new movie. But yeah. Have you been to see it? I thoroughly enjoyed it. You've seen it? I think Timothy Chalamet was really good. Timothy. Timothy. Timothy Chalamet. Timothy. Wonka, magic, magic hat gummies. Magic berries, Turns strawberry watermelon. Turns your tongue watermelon. blue. <gasps> wow. Yeah, so there's four flavours. Magic berry, strawberry watermelon, raspberry grape, orange, orange strawberry. strawberry. Mm. Every single flavour in this pack sounds delicious. Product of Mexico. We used to have like a chocolate bar that was Pop Rocks. And it was And that was under Wonka. the Wonka brand. I'm not sure if it's like actually one company or if they licensed the name out. These are so cute. They're little hats. Oh my word. I only see like two colours here. Mm. Oh, are these gonna be like my bursting bugs that I can't get anymore. It's more of like a thick gel in the middle. Mm. It's a lovely texture. Are you tasting much flavour? Mm. I think that thing's think ruined that my taste buds. Mm. Say so don't drink. It literally says do not drink solution. Lick only in bubble form. Honestly. <laughs> also, that's so hard to read. Yeah. Do not drink solution, lick only in bubble form. If solution gets into- Let me into try this. If solution gets into what? Eyes. Well, it's got into our eyes. Yeah, just rinse with water. Oh, right. Yeah, but it's not like the whole solution. Can you taste that? You should have tried yeah. a Dorito. Oh, yeah, the Dorito yeah, yeah. will bring you back to life. Yeah, I can taste these. These are fantastic. They're like little mushrooms. Yeah, I'm not sure about those. Just I just nice... don't think the flavor's particularly good. Unless I'm still affected by like the bubble lick. It's just- berry -y. They're nice. They're blowing, yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe the bubbles have got to you. I think they're really nice. They're sweet. There's nothing offensive about them. Oh, have I got a blue tongue? Yeah, you do actually. Do I? Ooh! What? Try swallow first. What? I've just seen all your Doritos. <laughs> they're just chilling in your mouth. Much better. Look. Oh yeah, our potion. potion. So are we allowed to drink this then? Surely, otherwise what's the point? Shall Definitely I go first? You go first, yeah, this time. You can take the hit on this one. <laughs> what flavour is it? Like a berry. Oh, oh it's tart. <laughs> it's tart. Oh, it's sour. <laughs> Isn't candy no, it's not for doing kids for the back so of funny? I think it's cola. Oh, I think it is cola. Oh, horrible. Mm, I quite like that. And what was it before you put the thing in? Do you remember? It was just like fizzy. Oh, was it? Like that sour ran. 
I actually really like that. Growing up, there was something called a brain liquor, and it'd be a pot, and it was like an underarm de deodorant, <laughs> <laughs> and you literally go, oh, 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 lick it like that, and it just like brings up like the blue raspberry sour flavor. Yeah. I used to get one like every Saturday. Every Saturday? At, at dancing, yeah. Every Saturday? Not every Saturday, but some Saturdays. Where, from the shop next from door? From the corner shop. Yeah, McCall's. We'd be going around like, <laughs> good job I didn't mix you with my deodorant. <laughs> But kids, kids stuff is so funny, isn't it? Do you remember the baby top? It's like a bottle, baby bottle or something. You take the top off and oh, it was yeah, like and a, you, just stick you suck it, it then you the get sherbet. in the sherbet. Yeah. If you go to a corner shop now, there's yeah. like a toilet and you open it up, it's got like hard candies in. Like why are kids so like interested in stuff The only like one that? I really remember is the pizza. Or the, oh or the, yeah, the yeah. You can still get that to yeah. this day, it's so good. Right, last but not least, yeah. we'll leave the scoring I can still for taste those. Them. I actually, out of the two, this is my favorite. That like brings you back to my childhood. Stuff like that. I'll just, Your kids would love I'm it. I'm just not gonna score it. Score We've got an M&M flavor here, which is exciting. This is M&M's White and Dark Chocolate Easter Sunday. Oh no, we can't have these anymore. Cause it's gone. I love the purple of this. I love that she's got some bunny ears on. She's like legally blonde. Yeah, yeah. I think these might be quite good because it's now. dark with the... Oh, even though they're there, I wasn't expecting these colours. They're a lot darker than I thought they'd be. I wonder why they chose to go with these colours. So we've got quite a dark red, a brown and a peachy orange. Maybe like the chocolate is well, the chocolate like the sauce. One's oh, a yeah, chocolate sauce. Oh yeah, and that's the ice cream. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Did you want to see inside? Did you like them? Mm. Not for me. I like those. Mm -mm. Something about it that's got a flavour of a sundae. I think it the does chocolate kind sauce. Of have, mm, that chocolate fudge sauce I usually try to avoid. Really? Are you crying? Yeah. It's the bubble lick stuff. <laughs> um, no, I really like them. There are still M&Ms that I prefer to have. But I think these are really good. They're fun, but they are not my favourite m ms at all. I just think they're quite like artificial, but I do think they taste quite like the chocolate sundae sauce. So I'll give it an A star for that. Is it partly because they're dark chocolate you don't like them? I think so, but it is that kind of chocolate sauce, isn't it? Mm. From a sundae. My favourites are still like the candy corn at Halloween, the fudge brownie ones, caramel peanut butter. It's been a while since anything's beaten them. Crunchy ones. Oh, crispy the crunchy ones. crispy ones were nice, weren't they? Mm. A five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, well, I think my treat of the week is going to have to be these. It's funny how simple they are. Only a very small change. Yeah. But they're so good. It's taken a product I probably wouldn't have bought before and made it something I would definitely buy next yep. time I see it. I would have to say they are also my treat of the week. And you're so right. If you're bringing out something, it needs to kind of get people that don't buy your stuff normally. Yeah. And I feel like next time we see them in America, we both might actually want to buy those. Yeah. So in some ways they have converted us to their product. I never really fancy them, but when I have a Dorito, they are really good. Do they do these small ones in different flavors? There are other flavors. I feel like they did, but not like loads. Mm. I think there might've been just like one other flavor. Was it nice being able to have loads in it's one so go? Good. Okay, I'll do that after the video though, thank you. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Don't forget we'll leave a link to our British Candy Box website down below. Yeah, we'll leave a link to our crisp box down below that's got an assortment of our favourite British crisps in there. It's definitely worth checking out. Definitely one of my favourites. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.